Welcome back to the Portal 2 um, walkthrough. We're just going to continue the walkthrough from where we left off, which is uh, part 13. And, um, yeah, let's uh, make our way out. Now, this place that looks pretty smooth and awesome, I guess. I bet this is where the Borealis is. It's not even in Antarctica. Nope, uh uh. Fuck it, we just decided to put it right in here. I will not be surprised. And I also won't be surprised if there's any hints to uh, episode 3. Which will probably never happen knowing well that they're like time taking skills, I guess. But yeah. Ooh, the music just got interesting. Did you guys hear it? I should probably stop talking so you guys can listen to the music. Yeah, I'll go do that. Oh, this reminds me of the Dharma Initiative. Yeah. Did I already go over this? I don't know. I'm, I'm just everywhere right now. I'm losing my brain. Not kidding. This I've been recording this straight and then, like, kind of winging it in the uh, parts to kind of actually get somewhere in the game. So, yeah. Wait, no. We came from this direction, didn't we? There it is. That's where we go. Fallout right here. Mm-hmm. Well, well copied Fallout right there. Just saying. No, fuck it. I'm not just saying. They obviously copied it. I mean, who else has a 20-ton door? They have the neon lights going on right here. Impressive. This place is ahead of its time. I mean, I knew the military had places like these, but damn. The Defense Department? Holy shit, that's a lot of fucking money. In fact, the, uh, what's his face? Mm -hmm. There, man. There's this, uh, giant... You know, I don't want to go into detail. It's probably something you guys can look up, but... Anyway, back in the, uh, 60s? Not, not the 60s, 80s? Or something? They had this radio radiation chamber back in, uh, like, here, around where I live, which I cannot tell you because that would go against everything I just said, I guess. Not really. Never mind. I can't tell you because that would be stupid. But anyway, um, they had, like, this railroad track, and inside it there was this huge radioactive isotope. Well, not an isotope. Just massive amounts of radiation. They would play satellite components in and see how long it would last. Basically, the chamber, t chamber would uh, simulate... What, four years? No, no. I think it was one year of radiation in space in one week, I guess. Yeah. So that was pretty fucking interesting, just saying. Alright, back to task. Let's continue. Danger. Mm hmm. Noted. Huh. Huh. Rumbling. Wheatley, what are you doing up there? Wow. Oh, 1952. What does this say? Verified. Cool. Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, war awesome. Olympians, you're here because we want the best. You are it. So, who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. 
Is that right, right Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Free as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Oh, damn it. Science. Wait a minute. Isn't science a lady? Right? No? Isn't lady si isn't it lady science? Right? Ooh. Well, I did not know you were into that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I just said that. You know, for lols. Cool, let's go down. Maybe this is the way we're supposed to go. Oh, <gasps> it is! Holy shit, I can't believe I got this. Nice. We're almost out of time. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our enrichment spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad <laughs> news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. I want to go fight an starts. army. I want to go fight an army. Dude, this is pretty cool. Speared of Idaho, National Potato Board for the promotion of potato science. Damn, that's a lot of potato-ness. Cave Johnson, shower curtain salesman of 1943, aperture fixtures. Ooh, aperture fixtures. Damn, what the fuck? This place started out as a fountain maker? Never mind. Let's read this one. Uh, U.S. Department of Defense contract tour of the year, runner-up 1952. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year Runner Up 1954. I wonder who got the award. And what is this? Wow, this used to be a salt mine. That's interesting. Top 100 Science. No, Top 100 Applied Science Companies. Aperture Science, number two. Who is number one? Black Mesa? Holy shit, if it is Black Mesa, I just. Oh my god, that'd be pretty awesome. Right. Uh, yeah, this part just ended, so I'll see you guys in the next spot. And again, if you've enjoyed this video, like to see more, subscribe, thumbs up, and leave a comment below. And I'll see you guys in part 15, I think? No, 14. Yes, 14.